Babylon Motors was started in 1998 right here in the heart of the Ozarks in Batesville, Arkansas. One of the people here were looking for a zero turn lawnmower. He went across the market and realized that everything was overpriced and too complicated. He thought that we could do something better at a better price. When the owner first designed his, the machine that, that, that he went out there and he wanted to design, he wanted to design something that was user friendly where anyone uh, with a little knowledge can do the maintenance on it. Our mowers are built to last. We try to do as much as we can on our machines as possible, uh, from uh, getting in the metal to cutting it out, fabbing it up, uh, to painting it in-house. Made in the USA, of course, everybody's proud to be American. So as many parts that we can put on our mower that is made here in the US, you know, that, that's a, a selling point for us. We've noticed that a lot of other manufacturers have moved most of their bases overseas. But we believe that we can still build the best product right here in America. As we grew and expanded, we knew real quick that, that we couldn't manually keep up with uh, what needed to be fabbed up or fabricated uh, in our shop. So we had to look at some, some innovation or some new technology to make that happen. I got a call from the owners of Bad Boy, I guess that was in 2004. Uh, they were getting into the lawnmower business and, and wanted a robot, so I, I met with both of them. Uh, we looked at their immediate needs, realized that they did not need a robot at that time. I gave them some justification figures to help them determine when would be a good time. And they reached that really quickly. I mean, it was a matter of months, and they called back and they said, you know, we need to do 10 a week. We looked at all the parts that they wanted to put on a robot, and the FlexArc cell that we uh, sold them was a really good fit. Flex arts come in a variety of designs, but the, the K cell that Bad Boy is uh, standardized on has um, a Ferris wheel indexer, which minimizes the footprint on the floor. But it gives them the capability to be loading on one station while the robot's busy welding on the other. That tends to keep you from lifting or moving those parts around, having to weld on them. It also is in confined area where that limits your, the sparking or, or the the access to get hurt. Now we've got eight over there in our facility running two shifts. Bad Boy bought a new cell every year for about a five year period. They've run out of floor space and power now or I, I feel confident that they would have already added additional welding cells. Right now we're uh, talking about in the fabrication, we're trying to do roughly around 200 per day in the fab. robots have been performing extremely well. Uh, we've, we've not had a lot of issues with them. Once it's programmed, it doesn't miss. We've increased in our production greatly. We've in, increased the number of employees that we have on staff. From the beginning, when we just had a few welders in there, maybe two or three, to now where we have close to 90 that's actually in our fabrication facility. Initially, we did a week of training with uh, two of the guys who are still involved with the robots, and then they, uh, they both went to Auburn Hills, so they've had two weeks of training. It's been a standard item. It's one that we can drop ship directly into Bad Boy, and they're perfectly capable of taking the robot when it hits the floor and, and programming their parts. It makes it very seamless for them to get a new robot in, go pick the teach pin and up, and do what they need to do. In my opinion, ABB builds the best 
uh, robotic system on the market. And my reason for believing that is, is they reinvest heavily in technology every year. I think it gives us a time-saving advantage to offer to our customers. We've got robots that are 20 plus years old that are still supported and is still run production on a daily basis. We are going to be the best zero turn manufacturer out there. Uh, that doesn't mean that we will sell the, the, the most units, but we want to be the best. We still got some growth to go, and we, we still got some uh, facilities to build and, and some equipment to put in there.